All right, today we've got this modular power system from Varial. All right, so before we open it up, we've actually got several boxes here. And that's because this is a modular power system. So we've got the power brick, we've got an AC brick, so this is like the inverter, and then we've got a DC brick, and over here we've got several other items. Uh, this one's called the solar hub. We've got some cables, and I also have some panels from these guys. I say let's go ahead and start with the power brick. So this is basically the battery. Okay, so we've got, it looks like a car charger, I think. Yep, so we've got a car charger for the power brick. And we have an AC adapter charger. All right, and here's the power brick. It has a nice finish. I like the aesthetics of it. It looks quite quality. Uh, I believe this is the front side. So on the front we have USB-A. So we've got two of those at 18 watt. And then we have two USB-C 100 watt ports. And on the back side we have some ports. So we've got one called a VE30. It says in and out. And a VE24 in and out. And this is how these things connect together. So this is a larger, higher current port and then this one is I guess a medium current port and then we have a charger and solar in port right here and it says 51 volts max and then on the very bottom of the brick uh, we actually have this recess so these are stackable you can see where this could stack and you could stack another battery on top of this and I think yeah, it looks like uh, the power inverter will stack as well. And then we've got some specs down here. So the capacity of this battery here is 1,008 watt hours, uh, 22.5 amp hours at 44.8 volts. All right, so let's push this button and see what happens. Oh, there we go. Looks like it's on and we've got a state of charge of 84.7%. So now let's go ahead and open up the inverter, the AC brick, as they call it. All right, so on the AC brick, we have a large power cable. This is, says VE30 on it. So this is the one that's going to plug into the back of the battery brick and connect our inverter here. All right, so here is the AC brick. Uh, on the front side, we have one, two, three, four, looks like 20 amp style AC receptacles. Uh, it says 120 volts. And I think the total power of this AC inverter is 2,400 watts. Uh, we've got some fans up here, our power button. And then on the back side, we see that VE30 port. So we need to plug in this cable. There we go. And then we'll stack it on the power brick here, like so. And then plug it into the back of the power brick. There we go. All right, so I'm not sure about the power sequence, but let's go ahead and turn the power brick on. Okay, so we've got the state of charge showing here. And then this light did come on right here. So does that mean it's on now or I'm not sure? Uh, let's plug in my air conditioner. No, I don't think it's on yet. Uh, so let's push that. Okay, now it turned green. Now it's on. Now we can turn the air conditioner on. Yeah, there we go. Just 
So the air conditioner is running. Now immediately the fans come on over here. Yep, it's definitely running this guy. We're on low right now. Let's try on medium. Yeah, so it's a uh, stated charge seems to be working. We are uh, dropping, obviously, since we're using power. All right, I'm just going to let that guy run for a bit, and I'll be back. So we've been running for a little bit here. We're still running. Uh, we're at 56.7% stated charge. AC still on medium. Let's go high. Okay, while this is running the air conditioner on high, uh, let's take this opportunity to open up the DC brick. All right, so here's the DC brick. We've got an Anderson connector. We've got our cigarette lighter style jack, and then we've got some DC barrel jacks right here. And the cable right here says VE24. So this goes into the smaller connector on the back of the power brick. And then we have some lights right here. These lights say 24 volt, 19 volt, and 12 volt. And then we've got some holes here. I think this is selectable. So you can actually change the voltage of this thing. You can do 12, 19, or 24 volt on these outputs. That's pretty neat. <laughs> I actually have some 24 volt devices that I would love to be able to run directly off something like this. Uh, one of them is my Zero Breeze air conditioner. It's 24 volt DC. There we go. And it is showing 12 volt right here. So I think what this is for, this is to select the other voltages. So let's do the 24 volt. There we go. No. Okay, so I actually had to hold it down until it beeped. So now it says 24 volts. So that's a good safety feature. Uh, nothing's gonna accidentally bump this and change the voltage on you, and you don't want that to happen for sure. <laughs> so let's try 19. So we put this in, hold it, and then it beeps. And then that flashes and it changes to 19 volts. Awesome. Let's go back to 12. Beeps. And then flashes. And we're back to 12 volts. All right, and let's use the multimeter to verify that voltage. All right, and we've got 13.19 volts. So we are now down to 40%. We've been running the AC on high. I think I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down. There we go. All right, so let's try charging this from AC with their AC charger. All right. Charger is plugged in. And we do see the state of charge here increasing. All right, so I'm just gonna let this thing fully charge up and then we'll do some more tinkering. All right, so we got it all charged up to 100%. So what I wanna do now is do a usable capacity test. And we're gonna do that through the DC brick here and through the Anderson plug. So let me get that. DC brick plugged back in. There we go. And I have it set to 24 volts. So we can see here we've got 24 volts, or 24.8 volts, five amps. Uh, so let's just go ahead and start the test. There we go. Looks like we're pulling 123 watts. Let's try 5.5 amps. There. We'll do 5.6 amps. 
All right, so I'll just let that continue on and I'll be back when it is complete. All right, the test is complete and we got 903.7 watt hours. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna charge this thing back up and set a timer so we can tell how long it takes to charge from zero to 100. So let's plug it in. And now let's start our timer. There we go. Our charge is increasing. So I'll be back when this thing is fully charged. All right guys, so we are just 28 minutes in, as you can see there. And it is showing 86 or 87% uh, charged. I find that highly unlikely given the fact that I think this is, yeah, it says a 240 watt charger. Yeah, it says 200 and I think it says 240 watt right there. Yeah, I find it rather unlikely that it's already almost 90% stated charge uh, in just shy of 30 minutes uh, given that this is a 1000 watt hour battery and that's a 240 watt charger all right so i'll just let it keep going and um, we'll see what it does <laughs> all right guys so here we are it is saying 100 percent but it's still charging and it's not uh it's it's not going to be anywhere near 100 percent it hasn't been nearly long enough time uh, we've only been in uh, about 49 minutes uh, so I think I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this in about three hours I'm thinking roughly from now I'll come back out and see where we are I think what we're gonna be looking for is this thing to stop flashing and this light to turn from red to green all right so I'll be back all right guys we finally have our green light on the charging brick and our little percentage thing here stopped flashing so it is 100 percent charged now and our timer tells us it took five hours one minute and 21 seconds we interrupt this program for an important news announcement all right so I sent an email to Veriao uh, regarding the state of charge going to 100% too soon. And we kind of went back and forth. They gave me some things to try. So I ended up running the test a few more times, but I just got the, the exact same results. Eventually they decided that they probably have a problem or a bug or something like that. And so now they've sent me out a new power brick unit that should have a fix in it. All right, so here's the new power brick. Let's go ahead and put a mark on it. That way I don't get it mixed up with the original unit. So we'll just put a little dot right there. All right, so now it's saying it's at 59.4, but uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna discharge this all the way down to zero, and then we'll run the the charge test again and time it. All right, so I've got this new power brick discharged all the way down to 0% as we see here. And I've got a timer ready to start over here. So let's go ahead and plug the charger in. There we go. And let's go ahead and start our timer. All right, so our timer is running and we are charging as indicated by this little flashing percentage and the little red light here on the charger so i'll let that charge for a bit uh, i'll come back probably in 30 minutes or so to see what the percentage is showing here and uh, we'll just let it continue to charge here all right so we are 35 almost 36 minutes in 
and we're looking way better. So we're showing 12.4%. Uh, so this is looking far better than what we were before. I think around this time, we were somewhere around 90% on the old unit. All right, so I'll just let it continue on and I'll be back. Okay, so we are now almost four hours in and we are at 80.1%, which is the correct number for being four hours in since we learned earlier uh, by charging this one, it takes about five hours to charge. So at four hours, it should be at 80%. So yeah, I definitely think these guys have this dialed in correctly now. All right, so we just hit 100%. Let's stop our timer. And that took five hours, four minutes and 15 seconds. All right, so now let's check the sine wave on the inverter. And we do have a pure sine wave and the voltage is 118.65 volts AC. All right, let's get a weight on these guys. Let's try the power brick. And it has come in at 20.4 pounds. And now let's try the AC brick. And it has come in at 9.4 pounds. All right, guys, so I think this is going to wrap up this video. I do have several other items to test, and I think I'm going to do that on a separate video. For now, this one's getting quite long, so I want to wrap it up. Let me know what you think about this modular power system down in the comments. I'll leave links down in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.